Hi friends, I'm making this video because I wanted to give some advices for those who are in their early 20s. Now I'm 40 years old. I'm born in 17 October 1984. Few weeks ago I hit 40 years old. The time went fast. I didn't expect that. I still think I'm young. I still think I'm in my 20s, but the time goes fast. And it's the time to make this video. And how I make, how I decided to make this video, I was surfing on the internet, on Facebook. I came across this post on Facebook. But honestly, why is our generation so unhappy? I made a comment here obsessed with fake lifestyle on social media that they don't even want to work. And someone who's called Marcus Austin, I had a small discussion with him and I promised to make a video about that to give my advices to this young generation to help you in this your current life and the life after when you're gonna get in your 30s or 40s. I'm gonna give you advices like a big brother for you and advices as an employer because I have a business I employed some people who just graduated from school from university so those advices gonna help you now and for your work after so I'm gonna give you seven advices and the first advice I'm gonna give you is gonna be a bonus and the bonus is gonna be in the beginning normally the, the bonus I give it at the end but the bonus you can already notice that bonus you can notice that I don't speak English fluently because this is not my first language I'm located in Morocco uh, my first language is Arabic my second language is French my third language that I mastered the less is English but why I'm using English because this is the language of business my business is doing kind of website creation, optimizing website, consultation, e-commerce, everything related to e-commerce. I'm using English because this is the language of business and this is the way I'm making money because I'm targeting the whole world. What was the bonus here? The bonus is that I'm making some effort to try to transfer this message to you. So I'm getting out, out of my comfort zone to deliver this message to you. It would be so easier for me to talk my native language, which is Arabic to you, but I'm speaking in English to deliver this message to you. Because my audience, now I have what? I have uh, over 26,000 followers on my YouTube channel, but those followers, they know me for my expertise in e-commerce, in drop shipping, in entrepreneurship, ways to make money online. They're gonna be a little bit upset if I make a video in Arabic. They're gonna say, what this guy is talking about? What this language? But I'm making an effort to deliver this message to you. And I'm giving you seven advices for life for those who are in their early 20s, whether you are a man or woman or, I mean, boy or girl, because you are still young, Listen to these advices carefully. Advice number one, and this was the purpose of making this video. Never ever get impressed by the fake lifestyle on social media. You probably don't know that most people, they fake their lifestyle on social media. And this in this entire video, I'm going to talk about the majority. Okay, I'm not talking about everyone. Every advice I'm going to give you is based on my own experience and the experiences of the majority of people and I'm not talking about the 100% of people. Some people, their lifestyle is their exact lifestyle. Some celebrities, they share some real photos about them, real uh, sets about them. They've got a Lambo, they've got a jet, they've got a yacht, they've got everything. But I'm talking about the people who are faking their lifestyle for a purpose. You gotta need to know that people are faking their lifestyle for a purpose. 
and the main purpose of faking this lifestyle is bragging and bragging gonna lead to making money online because when someone who is probably younger than you probably you've got 24 years old and someone who is just 17 years old is gonna post a photo with beautiful girls in an Iceland where the sun is shining with couple <laughs> champagnes the money you can see the money in this photo this guy or this girl what she want what she wants or what he wants just gonna drive you into their will to try to sell you something and this is why most people are gonna get scammed online I'm gonna give you just an example because you're gonna need to be intelligent to spot these people now uh, probably the most famous social media on internet for young people I'm talking about young people is probably TikTok I don't have the exact stats but I think that TikTok is the most famous social media for small videos or short videos but let me tell you something uh, TikTok is made by a Chinese company okay but in China it's prohibited to use TikTok. TikTok is banned in China. Why China banned TikTok? Because they know, and probably they made some statistics about that, I don't know, but they know that they this app has very bad impact on young people. And this is why they prohibited the use of TikTok uh, in this land, in the land where they have made TikTok. That's why I'm telling you, don't be impressed by fake lifestyle on social media. This is not the real lifestyle. This is not the real life. When you're going to go outside, you're going to be slapped in the face with the real life. Most people, they fake their lifestyle. And sometimes it's so easy to fake its lifestyle. I can go the next day, rent a uh, Lambo. It's going to cost what? 400 500 1000 1500 dollars to buy Lambo, pay some beautiful girls to make some photo shootings and some videos. I'm gonna post it on Instagram, and people are gonna say, "Wow, he's gonna, he's living a very good life, a very luxury life. How did he make it, man? You wanna show me how I make it? I'm, I will show you how I make it. You're gonna pay me thirty thousand dollar. I'm gonna show you a way to make money online." And this guy is gonna say, oh, I don't have that money, or I have that money, he's gonna pay me, or he's gonna try to borrow this money to pay me, so I can give him the secret to be a millionaire. And I'm gonna scam you. This is how people are gonna get scammed. Because they trust what they see, but they don't trust the reality. When you go out on nightclubs, when you get drunk, when you smoke weeds, everything is good. When you're drunk, everything is good. You see the life in its, in its best. And you start dreaming. And you start having some fantasy. But the next day, when you get up in the morning, in 6 a.m., you're going to get up foggy, slow. You're going to go to the job, uh, paid with the minimum salary. Now you see the real life. <laughs> Now you see the real life, not the life you're dreaming about the Saturday night. That's the first advice to you. Don't be impressed by the fake lifestyle on social media, guys. Advice number two, and this is related to the first one. Money ain't everything. I'm against those who say uh, money doesn't make happiness. I'm against that at 100% because some part of life money makes happiness some part of life with money you can buy licenses you can buy sets you can buy the latest iphone you can go out you can travel you can have a very good life with money yeah but money isn't everything at life money can buy you happiness at 80 percent but the rest you can't buy for example love with money you can buy someone to have a night with you, to spend a week with you, 
to spend one month, two months with you. But you can't buy love with money. You can't force someone to love you with money. This is impossible. You can't buy love with money. Number one. Also, you can't buy freedom with money. It's going to be a little bit weird for you because you're going to say, Oh, when I'm going to get money, I'm going to have more freedom, I can travel. No, I'm not talking about the freedom of traveling, freedom of transportation. I'm talking about, for example, uh, freedom of speech. Some of you who are in their early 20s, who are just starting out in life, they may be impressed by the lifestyle of multimillionaires, of billionaires, the life of Elon Musk, of Kim Kardashian. But let me tell you something. Uh, me, personally, I have more freedom than those guys. You're going to tell me how? I'm going to tell you how. Do you think, take any celebrities of these billionaires, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, uh, Bill Gates, Kim Kardashian, do you think that they can make a video like this one and talk like that spontaneously? I'm sure that any billionaires of those will be judged for every word he's saying. Some people, they want to have power, something Probably related to money, they want to have some power. They want to be the president of the United States, the president of Russia. But they forget that those people, they don't have the freedom you have now. Probably you may be broke, but you have the freedom that those people don't have. They can't express their religious opinion publicly. Sometimes they're going to see some people oppressed on the latest news, on wars, etc., they can't express their opinion because they have some investors from the other side. They have some liabilities, they have some business partners from the other side. They can't say everything they want. They have the money, they, have, they are billionaires, they are the most richest people in the world, but they don't have the freedom you think they have. They have the power, but they don't have the freedom you think they have. That's why I'm telling you, money and everything in life, freedom, love, uh, something else. Uh, some people, they can't lay their head down in the night and sleep calmly. They can't. They can't. They have a lot of problems, a lot of issues, a lot of, a lot of companies to deal with, a lot of, a lot of troubles. If you give me the choice to be a billionaire like those guys, I will reject it instantly because I have the freedom. I have the freedom. I don't. I don't want to be famous. Some people. I'm talking about the people who are in their twenties. Some people they dream about being famous. If if I'm talking about the girl, I want to be the next Kim Kardashian. I want to be the next Britney Spears. Do you think this life is easy? You can't go out to the mall calmly. You can't go out to the mall calmly. You're gonna have a lot of paparazzi, a lot of. I'm not talking about fans. I'm not talking about haters. They're gonna. They're not gonna uh, let you live your life as you expect it to be. I think you 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 got my points. And probably people who are now famous, they make money. They wanted to make money, but they didn't expect. The downside of making money, the downside of being famous, because some people they are making money but they are not famous, and this is the best one, making money but don't being famous. I like that. I like that the fact that I'm in Morocco, my YouTube channel, my business, all my businesses are in English. I'm not famous to people. I like that. I like when I go out, people don't know me, don't know who I am. They don't know who I am. I like that. I like that lifestyle. Anyway, this was my second advice to you. Money ain't everything and don't be impressed by the fake lifestyle you see on social media. Advice number three. I noticed that not only in Morocco, because I travel a lot because of my business, I travel in Canada, mainly in Canada, United States and some parts in Europe, mainly in Spain, France and Portugal. 
sometimes very rarely in Italy because I learned some Italian uh, uh, a few years back. I noticed that. I noticed that the Gen Z generation, people are in their 20s, they don't respect the, uh, the elders. They don't respect the older people. When I was young, in my early 20s, we used, when I was uh, with my friends chilling around outside next to the door in the street, we used to respect the elders. We used to respect when a, when an older woman or an older man pass by, we try to help him or try to carry if he's carrying some heavy things to bring it home. And sometimes uh, we even get silent when the guys pass by. We respect the elder people in the metro, in the public transportation. If I'm sitting in a good place and in, if an old elder woman uh, passes by, I give him my chairs to sit down. But this one, this ten, I think that this generation doesn't respect the old people. Please try to respect the old people because those, because the peace you are living in now. There is no war in your country, there is no hunger, there is no trouble, there is no rockets falling into your home. It's because of them, because they have worked hard, and they have served the country, so you can live in peace. So try to respect them. You can disagree with them in their opinion, in their political opinion, their life opinion, their religious, religious opinion. But at least try to respect them because they are old, they don't have the power, they don't have the energy as you have now. Try to respect them, please. Advice number four. I'm giving you this advice based on my experience as an employer. Try to respect the hierarchy. Now we are in 2024. Uh, probably I got my first employee in 2017. Since then, I've never ever found uh, a good employee in their twenties. Why? Because they don't. Because because of many things, but one of them because they does don't respect the hierarchy. For example, I have a manager who's managing the business, who's managing the bloggers, the freelancers, etc., and I'm giving. Uh, some some advices and some tasks to do and this manager they give each one a task to do but whenever I hire a young man or a young woman or a young boy or a young female they doesn't respect the hierarchy they either try to speak with me directly by passing the manager or they try to talk to me like I'm their friends but we are in a job now. He doesn't respect the hierarchy. Try to respect the hierarchy because this is so important. It's so important in the military field. We have officers, we have colonel, we have major, we have general. If the, the hierarchy is not respected, no one is going to go out fight the enemy. We, fi we respect the hierarchy in the police station. If the hierarchy is not respected, it's going to be ruined. Everything is going to be ruined. If I'm giving you an advice, I'm not giving you an advice because you think you are a slave. Hey, you're going to do this task now. You're going to do this task before uh, 8 p.m. And you, you think that you're a slave. You're not a slave. I'm giving you a task. For example, I'm telling you, you're going to need to... Uh, finish this article before 8 p.m. I'm not giving you that because I'm treating you like a state because my client wants the article to be done for example before 9 p.m. so I'm giving you the task to, to do it before 8 p.m. because me too I have to forward the article to the client but I need not to explain everything I do with my clients to you I'm telling you that with respect, with an email, with greetings, with kind regards at the end, but you need, you need to do this task. Why I'm telling that to you, you are in your early 20s, because 
<laughs> I'm gonna and I'm gonna go back to the first advice because you are impressed with the fake fake lifestyle on social media because you are sitting in your job and thinking, oh wow, this guy is giving me a task. I'm not gonna make money from this job. I wanna be like like James, like Jessica. Oh look at his Instagram account, she's making money. She went to she went to travel to Bangladesh. She's having a good time. No man. This is just a fake lifestyle. You need, you're gonna need to work hard in your early twenties. When I was in Canada, when I was a student in Canada, I worked hard. I worked hard in restaurant, I worked hard in agriculture, I did almost every student job. I worked so hard. I am what I am now, I have the freedom that I have now because I worked so hard in my early 20s and I didn't have that <clears throat> thinking that money is easy, making money is easy. I knew I had to work hard to be what I am now. So this advice, take it seriously guys, respect the elders, respect the hierarchy in your job. Advice number five, this is related to the previous one, don't lie on your resume. I noticed that on almost all the resumes I get, everyone is trying to lie on your resume to get the job. For example, the requirement for me, uh, I'm making business online, I need someone to write articles in English, everybody is writing, I'm fluent in English. But when you do the interview with them, when you give them uh, uh, an online, uh, what do you call that, online evaluation, they don't even get the 65% evaluation score. So why do you write that you are fluent in English in writing? Type, I'm good at English. Why are you lying? I'm going to know after that that you are lying, but I'm never going to trust you. If you don't lie on your resume, I can invest on you to give you some courses to take, to give you some other tasks, to wait for you a couple months you know, until you get your English better, until you, you get your skills better, and after that I may give you an extra salary or a rise in salary, I'm going to give you bonuses, etc. because I trust you. Try not to lie on your resume. People, they say, uh, what are the languages you master? Programming language? Oh, I know JavaScript, CSS, HTML, uh, PHP. Okay, what do you know about JavaScript? Almost nothing. But why do you lie, man? Do you think that by lying, you're going to get the job, you're going to get promoted, and you're going to get good salary, and you're going to stay in this job? I'm talking to you, boys and girls in their early 20s, try not to lie on your job because we have the brain and we have the feeling that you are lying. Advice number six. This one also is related to previous one. Try to seek knowledge first. Money will come. Okay, knowledge first. For example, you're gonna get a job uh, try not to look for salary rise because when you want everyone wants a good salary salary rise with bonuses with advantages etc everyone wants that because this is gonna make your life better but try to build a bridge to that build a bridge to reach this threshold to reach this bonus to reach this salary increase for example, you are in a company, you are what? Uh, chemical engineer. Try to perform your knowledge in chemistry. Try to perform your, your knowledge in language. You work with a Spanish company. Try to learn Spanish. You work with a company that are using some programming languages, some, some, some tools. Try to take a course for this tool. Get knowledge first, get educated, get education. When you get educated, when you try to perform yourself 
your manager gonna be satisfied and the big boss gonna be satisfied and the company the whole company gonna be satisfied they're gonna give you salary increase they're gonna give you bonuses they're gonna give you advantages they're gonna give you a rise this is why I'm telling knowledge first money will come it's not the opposite if you search for money first you gonna get fired this is the worst case last advice the seventh one it's gonna be a little bit weird for you for those who are in their early 20s but try to be spiritual I didn't say try to be religious try to be spiritual because you may be atheist you may be of the ones who doesn't believe in God or any creator but even if you don't believe in God or creator you're gonna need to be spiritual because spirituality is so important I'm gonna give you an example uh, in my case I'm working from home I have all the skills to scam people online but I don't do it it's simple it's easy one of the easiest way to make money online is by scamming people online this is the easiest thing to do one of the reasons why I don't do it because uh, I don't know what which, which religions you have now or you are now you may be Jews you may be Muslim you may be Christian you may be Buddhist you may be whatever you want but almost all religions they have something in common they believe in the life after life or life after death call it what you want I believe in the life after life and I know that if I did something bad to people I'm gonna be judged for that I'm gonna be judged badly for that and this is one of the reasons why I don't scam people online I earn my money clean I don't earn dirty money this is why I'm telling you try to be spiritual because spirituality is like a barrier is like uh, it's like a red line when you go with your car you see the red line you stop when you're gonna see the orange line you're gonna see on the right on the left oh you're gonna be careful is there a car is there a car coming no now you're gonna go it's the green line when you see the red line you stop when I see the red line in business or in life I stop because I'm, I know I'm gonna be judged in the life after life for that those who doesn't believe in anything they can do everything without limit I have a limitation I can't do anything bad for people because I know I'm gonna be judged for that I try to be the best person or the best version of myself to be rewarded after that and this is what you're gonna need to do in your life in your job in your business and in your spirituality and this was my last advice to you guys I hope I was not so uh, tough with you guys this was an advice take it like big brother who gave you an advice and I hope the best for you guys see you in the next video the best way is to